Hello friends, welcome to the new tutorial on uh, Key Clock. So this time I'm going to explain about Key Clock 26. So this is a new release which is uh, released from the Key Clock. It's uh, only few days or few, we can say few months before it is released. So let's see what all changes are there on the Key Clock side. And uh, this is the Key Clock. You can see the interface is same. So we can see the guide here okay and uh, we can see the documentation also here so well the 26.0.7 is the latest but i am using tw version 26.0 so here few notable changes are there but uh, uh, which i am going to explain so i have created a customer ream so on the ream side there is no changes okay and uh, there is no notable changes on the ream side okay and uh, then we are going to create a client so i have already created a client called customer client okay and uh, here also there is no notable changes are there so you can see uh, standard flow direct access access grant these are enabled so these are by default means like i have created it now let's try to create a user so this is where the new changes uh, we are going to see. Okay, so test at the test.com. Uh, email is I'm keeping it same. First name, last name not required. Okay, I'm creating it. Okay, so this new user is created. Okay, so here you can see uh, we don't see a user attribute. So you must have observed uh, we, we can create some custom attributes on the user, but here there is no user attribute tab. So user attribute are the associated uh, value which we can uh, add or make like a configure for an user. Okay, so here there is no user attribute. So this is the new change which is uh, present in uh, Key Clock 26 apart. Uh, so let's see how to add some associated or some uh, values for this uh, user okay now we will see how we can create a user attribute uh, in key clock 26 so this is the new way and uh, it's little bit different okay so in the user we can see some uh, following information username email first name and last name that so these are uh, by default present okay and uh, there is no other way <coughs> and uh, let's go to the ream setting so this is a customer uh, ream let's go here on the user profile so in the user profile you can see these are here we will add an attribute so here username email first name so these are the by default uh, present for a for a uh, for, for a default group user metadata now we will create a group like a department display name department detail okay and annotation will not do anything we'll create and save now come back to attribute we will create one attribute we'll give uh, attribute name as a uh, name display name let's uh, it will take always it is a required field attribute group will select a department uh, it's both required for both user and admin who can edit we let's give it a, we can uh, decide here also and these are annotations i will explain uh, how it works and this is since this is a text field so we can add some various validations here okay double validation email integer iso date length local date multi-valued option so i will be explaining a few things uh, uh, now okay so let's uh, put a length validator okay minimum is suppose uh, 2 and maximum is suppose 10 trim disable let's give it okay and let's save it and now we'll uh, come back to our next tab okay okay we will go to the user okay so here we can see here uh, user has been saved suppose we will try to give h 
name must be between length 2 and 10 okay so hr and we'll save it so this is how it will display here now let's try to add one more attribute okay we'll go back to ream setting again user profile create an attribute like a location this is a required field both for user let's keep it uh, simple and add an annotation here so input type so here also there are various types are there so you can read the documentation here and it is used to display on the ui okay and here input type i give it as a, a, let's say select okay and uh, after giving the select i need to add a validator here and here we i have to give option like uh, location so suppose location is a uh, delhi noida london Paris, Leo. Okay, so these are the locations I have given here. It is a select type. I am saving it. Okay, oh, I have to save the in the department uh, group. Okay, now come back to the user. You will see a select option here. Okay, and let's select. Um, Paris as an option okay the user has been saved so you can see it is saved okay and let's come back and uh, create one more option user profile create an attribute and uh, suppose a, a location uh, let's department okay and uh, we have to select the department now this time we'll select input type is equal to multi select multi select so here also we will go back to option like uh, HR tech operation finance okay and uh, yes so we are creating this we're going back to the user and here there is department okay so tech and hr i selected this is multi-valued here so attribute name must have at least zero or one value so i am able to save with uh, one value so user is just saved you can see here we can come back again and tech is saved i select an hr we'll save it and we'll go back again and hr is saved so why i am not able to select two values so let's check it here and user profile so what we need to do is uh, we'll come here and uh, we'll add a validator here multi-valued so minimum one maximum suppose uh, three let's check it again user and I tech yes now i'm able to save it here and uh, we can see again here hr and tech are saved i will select operation i will select finance okay so here one and at most uh, three values so i have to remove the finance and i will be able to save i will go back again user profile create attribute let's 
keep it same. We don't need to do anything. Department. Department email. Okay, here. Add a validator like email. So input type is equal to. We can keep it as text. Okay. I'll go back to the user again, and we can see here email. So if we try to save something here, input a uh, invalid email address. Just dot com and it will be saved so like this we can create as many groups and uh, as many groups we can here and we can create as many annotations here like annotation uh, input size input type custom attributes we can do so i have not tested uh, everything here but few things uh, i created it here like uh, very Frequently, what we use checkbox, uh, radio box, and also uh, select radio buttons. Also, we can do multi-select checkbox. Also, we can do HTML file, email, telephone, URI, and these all very frequently what we use. Uh, we can configure it uh, here. Okay, so these are made like, and uh, we can do it, and we can add the validations here with the email. I also date person name. Pro prohibited character okay and these all are uh, very uh, useful things uh, we can do it here and uh, and the best way is mean like uh, we can uh, divide into certain groups mean like we can create as many groups we can and uh, based on that we can categorize the fields here so that uh, it is very easy to view here and when we uh, with the rest api i have tested it but with the rest api it will be useful to fetch the details with like uh, by a groups with like a uh, user uh, attribute groups so in that way with like uh, it will be useful and this is a new thing uh, which is uh, <clears throat> uh, which is new in a key clock and uh, but there are many other things like uh, you know, one of the most important thing was the uh, session persistent like uh, earlier version we have to enable the field to persist the session on on the, on the session on the cache but now we have the option to persist the user session on the database and this is by default so that uh, if we have uh, uh, many pods and uh, and then the user session will not be lost even if the pod dies the user session will be still persistent uh, on that database so this is all for the today's video and uh, i will come up with some uh, new thing uh, next time so see you and uh, thank you for watching my video yeah see you next time bye bye